Hi y'all, welcome to a special graduation edition of Cooking with Walker. This is going out to all those 2022 graduates. That includes my son, RJ. Say hi, RJ. Hi. All right, today we're making shrimp and grits, one of my favorites, so come on back and we'll get started. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. All right, here's a shot of all our ingredients. Of course, there's the shrimp. We got some grits over there. We're using quick grits today. Uh, I don't think you need to use the old fashioned kind. They're just as good, the quick ones. We got some thick cut bacon and some seriously sharp white cheddar cheese. Uh, those are the big ones and some onion there and some bell peppers. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is start cooking some bacon. Bacon's very important shrimp and grits. We're going to put this bacon in here, let it cook for about five minutes. We're going to turn it over about halfway through, get it nice and crispy. We'll get about five pieces here, thick cut bacon. And then while we're letting that cook, we'll get our grits started. So, all right, now we're going to start our grits. So we need two cups of, I'm going to use vitamin D whole milk, two cups of that. And I'm gonna get three cups of water. You could use some more milk or you could use all water. I like using a little bit more water than milk. Still gives it that creamy flavor, but there's a lot of cream in that, that milk and I don't want it to be too heavy. Uh, we're going to put some salt in there. Let me grab some salt. A couple of twists here. Salt it a little bit. And we're going to put one bay leaf into the grits. And then we're going to let that boil. And we got to let it boil kind of slowly because milk will burn if you don't. If, once it starts getting close to boiling, we're going to stir that pretty good. All right, we'll come back when that bacon and that Water's ready to put the grits into. All right, we're gonna, our bacon's ready. We're gonna pull that off. Come over here. Kind of get down here on this bacon. Yeah, that's gonna be good right there. And that, the stuff left behind, these drippings, this is what we call in the Walker household, the good stuff. And we're gonna make uh, our greens and our vegetables in there, saute them in the, the shrimp in that. All right, our milk is getting close to boiling. We're gonna keep stirring this up so it doesn't burn and then we'll put the grits in when we get back. All right, we're ready to put our grits in. This has been boiling up and this milk will boil up and out so you gotta keep an eye on it. So it started to boil, so we're gonna turn down this heat. We're gonna stir in the grits. We're gonna add them very gradually, very slowly because they'll lump up. We don't want lumpy grits. We fold them in. Now fold them in. <laughs> right. Moira. All right. Actually, it's the cheese that we fold in. Sure. At the end. Right, when we make the cheese. All right, we're getting those grits in. And they should get in here and we're going to, we already turned it down to simmer. They're in there pretty good, blend it in. And what we're gonna do is take, we're gonna cover this. And since we lost the lid to this pot about 10 years ago, I'm just gonna put a plate over it. And that's gonna work just as well. So we're gonna let those simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna get back to uh, cooking up our shrimp. All right, now we're about to put our shrimp in. I added a little bit of butter to our bacon drippings. So we got our bacon drippings pan here. We're gonna put in the shrimp. Mmm. I use like, I like using a large de-vein peeled shrimp. Uh, raw shrimp, uncooked, because we're gonna cook it right here. And we're gonna let it cook, saute it in here. And I'm gonna put a little Cajun spice. I like using uh, Tony Chasseray's uh, Creole seasoning, Tony C's. Put a little bit of that on there. I'll make it a little spice. And we're going to saute this for about five minutes. Move that away. All right. We're 
Yeah, let that cook. Our grits are cooking. And when we get done with this shrimp, we're going to set it aside. And then uh, in the same pan, we're going to cook all our vegetables, our green, pe our uh, red pepper, and onion. All right. Our shrimp's all done, so we're going to take that off and put it on a plate over here. Mmm, that looks good. That is going to be so good, soaking in that bacon grease. Mm-mm. All that off. We're going to leave a little bit of that grease in there. Because we're about to put onion and pepper and a mess of spices in there. I'm going to put just a little more butter in there. Um, my butter's in the fridge here, I think. I put it in there. Now, here's the butter. Put the butter in there. Use a spoon. <laughs> God gave us fingers for a reason, honey. No. All right. Put that butter back. And. Turn up the heat a little bit, and now we're gonna put in our red pepper and our green onion. That's gonna go in there. And we're gonna take uh, some paprika, put a tablespoon of paprika in there. It's gonna be good. We're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of minced garlic. Use that. There we go. Okay. And a couple of tablespoons of parsley. Ooh, that's some good stuff right in there. And we're going to mix that up, saute that a little bit. And get that going. Turn up the heat a little bit. And we're going to let that cook. I'm going to check on my grits, make sure they're not lumping up too badly. Yeah, they're soaking up that milk and water pretty well. They'll be done here in probably about five minutes. All right, we'll put some cheese in there in a little bit, and we'll come back to you as soon as we're ready to put the shrimp back in here. All right, things have gotten serious here. I got my apron on got the, with the cupcakes. This is a shout out to my daughter, Madison. Who used to make cupcakes with this cupcake apron. Uh, also shout out to Baby Cooper. Probably not old enough to eat shrimp and grits quite yet, but I'm sure he'll enjoy them in a couple of years. All right, so we're gonna throw our shrimp back into, oh, I must mention that while we were away, I had to add uh, about a half a cup of the chicken stock. I had forgotten to do that to our mix here. So, but now it's ready. We're gonna put our shrimp back in there. I crumbled up our bacon. So we're gonna put our bacon in there with it. Mmm, it's coming together, everybody. We're gonna let that kind of cook a little bit, simmer. Get that going a little bit here. That's why we have the apron on, because that splashes on me. It won't ruin my pretty shirt. Okay. Do that. Oh, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. All right, we're gonna go back to our grits, because our grits should be just about done. Let's check it and see if they're absorbed. Come on over here. Yep, they're nice and thick and ready to go. So we're going to take them off the heat because this next step we won't need it. Take it off the heat. And let's put this plate here. Put it here. And now I'm going to get me a cup of this seriously sharp. That's how you do it with your teeth. Uh, seriously sharp white cheddar cheese. We're gonna go with about a, a cup of this. And we're just gonna stir that in and it's gonna melt just perfectly. All right, and we're gonna have nice cheesy grits. Put that in here, whisk it all up. And now we have our grits. We're gonna put a little bit of pepper in there. Not too much, because people like different amounts of pepper. I cover my grits and pepper, but not everybody does. We'll just put a little bit in there. So that's all ready. We'll come back over here. We're gonna do a last little stir here because this is just about done. And folks, we are just about to plate this dish. 
and it is going to be good. It smells great. Uh, just a little note, if you heard, I don't know, a little noise going on, that means it's going to be a tornado, <laughs> tornado sirens uh, going off while I was doing cooking with Walker. Once we start cooking with Walker, we can't stop and go down to the basement, so we've been doing this fearlessly. Uh, my lovely wife is behind the iPhone there. I flew away! Yay! And that was her sneeze you just heard. And she's uh, also freestyling much more than my last camera person, Madison, ever did. So, uh, nod to her if you enjoy that. You can like or subscribe, put whatever you want in the comments about that. Alright, so we got this done and next time you see me we're gonna have some plates of shrimp and grits so we got our plates you can come check out these plates full of, we got a bed of grits on each of the, the bowls here and we're just going to put this right on top the shrimp put a few more pieces of shrimp on there go on here mm. and that is going to be good stuff right there all right, we're gonna call in the boy. RJ, come on in. And we're gonna get him to taste it and see how he likes it. All right, RJ, you get to try it first. RJ's going to the University of Tulsa next year. Got his shirt on, very good. Let's see. How is it? Very good. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy making that and eating it. Uh, congratulations to all my seniors who are graduating. Uh, good luck to Paige, Evelyn, Madison, Jalen, Courtney, and Paul. Uh, good luck in your future, and that has been it for Cooking with Walker. Hang out together like hotcakes and molasses. Hey!